Hi friends, this is Bijou Baker. I'm Maria. Today I'm going to make some roasted root vegetables. And then I'm going to make a, a balsamic glaze. It's a pomegranate balsamic glaze. I'm going to show you how to make. No, it's not. It's not. <laughs> it is a pomegranate balsamic glaze. <laughs> Uh, thank you for staying and watching. <laughs> okay, whatever. Once you do it, you're going to be hooked and you're going to be making these all sorts of ways with this glaze, man. Oh my God. And then at the end, I'm going to show you what I do with it. That's a real warped kind of amazing, delicious dessert. <laughs> I can't wait to show you that part. But the vegetables, root vegetables, it's... <laughs> I really can't speak English, I promise. <laughs> Just obviously not today. Um, potatoes and carrots. I got the rainbow carrots. I've got, um, oh here, look at, look at all the goodies that I got. Ah. Right, right. Um, so I'm gonna go and I'm just gonna get them all ready. And by getting them ready, that means I'm gonna peel whatever I need to peel cut and dice, making sure they're all roughly the same size. That's what I want uh, because it's going to look better um, and it's going to be easier to eat and they're going to be um, a consistent baking temperature and time for each piece when it's the same size. So, Kara, hands washed, let's go play. Okay, so with all these vegetables, it, it it can be easily confused for a, a ratatouille, except I'm not using tomatoes. A ratatouille is just a collection of vegetables from the province of France where they are abundant. It's like a vegetable stew. Not really soupy or saucy as, as our stews are, but that's, that's essentially what a ratatouille is. That's not what this is only because I'm not using tomatoes and it's just not like proper ratatouille and you know I'm always about proper <gasps> right I tried that once it just didn't fit so I'm making ratatouille a la bijou <laughs> it's just a good roasted vegetables um, and I've got two pans I'm gonna be uh, have going the bigger pan is gonna be for my roots my um, eggplants and beets golden beets are amazing it's an incredible addiction and I oh and they're good for you I mean they're really good for you they're so good so one's gonna have my root vegetables and the other one's gonna have my um, broccoli and zucchinis and things that are not gonna take as long so we're just gonna clean them up and cut them up and put them in Now the fun begins. You're going to generously salt this baby. You're going to generously pepper this baby. I'm just going to go straight from my hand. I'm going to do the same thing to the other tray of the uh, softer vegetables. I'm going to save some of this olive oil, garlic, and thyme. 
mixture. And I am going to put more um, olive oil because I actually, yes, let me do that now. Um, I want it coated really well. I don't want these things to dry out. So I'm going to saturate these beauties. And then just mix them. You can do this in a bowl. It doesn't matter. I've got my potatoes, my carrots, my tricolored carrots nonetheless. Beets. Oh, that's great. Uh, <laughs> gold and red. Or are they purple? I don't know. But everything's coated. I see shine everywhere. There's a lot of vegetables here. But I'm telling you guys, when they're this good, you just munch on them. And this is such a better alternative to the, you know, we're stuck inside so much and we're munching so much. So something like this, yeah, this makes me kind of not feel so bad about all the cakes <laughs> and other stuff I make. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to make the pomegranate balsamic glaze. You can glaze it with any flavors you want with the uh, balsamic vinegar. You can use fresh uh, strawberries or fresh raspberries or fresh blueberries or whatever and just kind of infuse them in it, smash them, get them out, and then um, strain them. I'm using juice on juice. So I've got the palm, POM pomegranate juice, um, and a bottle of balsamic vinegar. Just just an off the chart, I mean, just a store-bought vinegar, nothing spectacular. All I'm gonna do is reduce. You're gonna take it from 100% to about 25%. You're just gonna do reduce it by a ton, and it's gonna get thick and sweet and delicious and so good. Okay, so the pot's on high. Um, this is a 2.5 seven ounce bottle of balsamic vinegar. The process is the same, so you choose how much you want to make. And I've got about two thirds of a cup of the palm juice. I'm going to boil this for five minutes. It's going to have a good boil going. Let it. And then we're just going to um, lower it to a medium low and let it go. Now the trick to this thing is let it take its time. Um, you want, <laughs> you, you need it to take its time because the longer it takes, um, it just means more air is evaporating, uh, <laughs> more water is evaporating. And that's all we're doing is we're taking out the, the water. So if the reduction thing is all new to you um, and you don't really know how much is a half or three quarters or 75%, or take a toothpick or some wooden something or other, stick it in, and it marked where it's at. You can barely see, but it's there. So put that aside and just let this boil. Now, when I make this and I stir it, I use a silver spoon because that way it won't <clears throat> stain the wood. So monitor this also. If it starts to get to be too, um, the bo rolling boil is just too vicious for you, just take it off the heat, let it kind of calm down, and then monitor it. That, that's all. Okay, so it's rolling pretty good. I'm gonna lower it. You can see it's coating the back, eh, sorta, sorta, but not nothing impressive. So I'm gonna lower it to about a medium low. Mm, to a low. Now I'm gonna let it continue to reduce until it's almost gone. <laughs> well, not not too not too too much because the thicker uh, the longer it sits, the thicker it will end up, and you don't want it so thick that you can't use it. But it's calmed down, and it's just going to um, evaporate more. So, I don't know, can you see where that 
Can you see that? That's where I first put it in. Let's see where we're at now. Yeah, about the same. It, there's no big difference, but uh, I'll put it in there just to kind of make it darker for you. All right, so it's going to continue to reduce. I'm going to leave it here for maybe 10 minutes and check on it again. Okay, we're rolling pretty good. It looks, it looks like it's not on because there's no bubbles, but it's going. And you can see because the back is getting a little bit coated, a little bit better. Still running. We're not quite there, but it's doing just fine. Look at that. That's good. So I'm going to stick a new toothpick in so we can see how far along we are. So it's about half. This was the first toothpick. Let's see, where can I, let me fix this so you can see. How's that for blinding? <laughs> okay, so the um, you can see the difference. So it's about half. We still got about another half way to go. All right, this is done. You can see how much it's reduced and you can see how thick it's coating the spoon. That's beautiful. And I don't want it too much thinner because then um, it, I can't spread it or, or drizzle it. So there's the toothpick. Come on. Can you see? It's down to a quarter of what this was. So that's perfect. I have the fire off. I'm just going to let it do what it needs to do here until it cools down. And then I'm going to transfer it into a, a dish. All right, this is just going to go in here to cool off. And you know me, I'm taking everything. You can see that, how thick it is. Look at that. It's kind of cool. So when it uh, cools down, of course, it's going to get thicker. This stuff is amazing on um, vegetables or chicken. You'll think I'm crazy when I say this, but it's delicious on fruit. Dipped in strawberries, just like that. Oh my gosh. Over ice cream. I know. Who the heck puts balsamic vinegar on ice cream? Me do. <laughs> because it's so freaking good. All right, so the uh, root vegetables are still baking. Uh, it will be 45 minutes, 45 minutes. I'm going to stir them around, and I'm going to put the other tray in for another probably 45 minutes. We'll play it by ear. I'll let you know. Is that amazing or what? These are so beautifully toasted. Everything is tender to the fork. Just kind of pierces so gently. Ah, so I had taken the um, other plate and just put a little bit on, on my plate for, for this. Um, you can put them together if you want to. I'm just leaving them separate because this is a, a darker dish with all the... Um, juices from the beets and I it doesn't matter it doesn't matter to me but I just kind of want it to look pretty how's that did that make sense to you I don't care <laughs> I don't care I want to eat so we have a beautifully roasted chicken for dinner um, but all I want are the vegetables with this drizzle okay I know it looks it doesn't look like it's a lot but I'm not really looking to get full just yet. Although, <laughs> I think this is what I'm gonna have for dinner. I, I, that chicken's gonna be, it's gonna be hard to pass with the chicken. Um, so we've got everything, everything that you saw was in there. I did not do the eggplant um, only because my, <laughs> my pan was so full as it was. So I'm taking the um, 
drizzle that make the balsamic glaze. And I'm just going to coat this beautiful baby. You got the potatoes. Ah, it smells amazing. You know this gig by now. This is where I get to enjoy my, the fruits of my labor. And these, um, these golden beets, it's hot. Oh my God. That balsamic, it's a sweet vinegar. That beet, the golden beets have such a different taste from the um, purple beets. <laughs> but it's all so good. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Now, if you had someone, again, who has uh, diet restrictions and they can't chew food, pop this through the blender, put a little bit of cream in it, and you've got one of the most amazing vegetable uh, soups. A creamy vegetable soup. That'll work. My mind's just always taking me off in weird places, right? Okay, guys, give this a shot. You're going to love it. You're gonna be so glad. Now, I made a ton. I made a ton, so I'm going to have to start dispersing it to the neighbors and stuff, but maybe, <laughs> maybe I'll just have seconds and thirds. All right, my friends, until next time, happy baking. Ah, oh, that was fun. Don't forget to like and subscribe.